Hey Aries, welcome to your Incoming Love uh, reading for November of 2019. Incoming Love is my monthly series for you. This is uh, for us to take a peek at um, what's incoming towards you, okay? This could very well be a new person, a new love, or um, a returning love for you. Take it however that resonates. This is a general read. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, information relating to my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended readings, they are in the description box below, so go ahead and check them out if you're inclined. Also check out my other videos in, my, in this channel. I do have a lot of um, contents there that you may like. All right. This is for Aries. What do we have for Aries for November of 2019? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. Two of Pentacles. Four of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. The Hierophant. The Seven of Swords. Ten of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The Three of Wands. A uh, Three of Pentacles, sorry. The Eight of Wands. Aries. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. Okay. All right, Aries. Um, incoming love. Well, as of the moment, I am feeling that um, for you, Aries, you are trying to move to better circumstances in your life right now. You could have been in a very tumultuous um, recent past. You may have had that, and um, now you are learning the ropes. You're learning the. You're learning um, some lessons in your past relationship, or past connection, and that now you are just trying to move things uh, along, uh, moving into calmer waters, not wanting to have any more arguments, not wanting to, just having peace, just getting into a phase where you can have peace of mind, peace of heart, and then take it from there kind of energy. You were in a connection where I felt like you were really burdened. Um, you could have um, taken a lot of responsibility or a lot of actions in, in the past uh, connection that you were really committed to, okay? And I feel that there could have been a lot of, there could have been um, some sort of sneakiness or some dishonesty within that connection in the past that really brought you down, that really put you off guard, yeah? You could have been dealing with someone who is uh, like that. Somebody who is not really very upfront with you. So... Regardless, you wanted to communicate and you wanted to commit to that person, yeah? But it appears like you were emotionally exhausted and therefore I feel that you are now moving things forward on your own, clearing all the negative vibes and um, learning from the past, definitely. And then just moving along and see where things go from there, yeah? Aries, moving on. Your incoming love. This is a person who may have um, a lot of responsibilities in their life. Um, somebody who may have had some commitments or prior commitments, shall we say. It could be a, a relationship that they are, that they have, or this could definitely be like some sort of business, um, uh, passion, or family responsibilities that are taking a lot of their time as well. Yeah? And that they, they need uh, investment in time. They have to allocate time on those other priorities. But slowly, I feel that um, this person is, is um, coming to the end of it. 
if they have been busy with other stuff, I feel that um, they're coming to the end of it. If there has been a lot of problems that they were dealing with in the past, it's coming to a close. And therefore, this person right now would be, I feel that there is this energy of somebody who is um, reaching out to you, wanting to communicate, wanting to um, reach out, to do a lot of things with you, giving you news even. If this is a returning person, well, definitely this talks about you reconnecting once again, talking things out. But the main energy I'm getting is that there's going to be some good news, fast-moving action of someone um, who may have weighed things in their life and is starting to bring balance or so starting to have balance back in their life. And this person is coming into your life and is wanting to build a foundation, wanting to build a a sort of a stable foundation with you. This could be a person that you can be a travel buddy with. This could be a person that if you go camping for, let's say, 50 days in the desert, this is a person who would keep you happy, entertained for those 50 days. You won't get bored with this person because they would try to make uh, every day a celebratory day for you, which is a very positive energy, I feel. Yeah? And they want to, this is a person who would put a lot of effort into this connection. Yeah? This is a person who would put a lot of effort. They would make uh, your day like a cele celebration day. Each time you meet this person, it's going to be like a celebration day. I'm actually getting that this is a new person, Aries, for you. But for some, this could very well be a person reconnecting back from the past, a person from the past who's reconnecting with you, and um, starting to communicate and telling you that, you know, this is uh, uh, what we have is something that I really want, and uh, I want to put... I wanna, um, put more effort into it and working things out. Yeah. But then again, Aries, there's another um, kicker here. This person wants a new start, a passionate start with you. So they are actually looking for steamy nights. Um, <laughs> this could be heightened um, sexual desires as well. You could see that this person would have that, would have this um, energy of um, wanting to spend... Um, Wanting to be celebratory every day and at the same time, fun, steamy nights kind of energy. If not that, this is just a person who's wanting to have new beginnings, new passionate beginnings with you. Like they want to work things out. Um, they want to do the things that you love. They want to do, they want you to join them in doing things that they love. Could be in business, could be in, could be hanging out too, spending time together. Um, getting to know each other. But again, you have Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. This is a very exciting energy for you. This is a very exciting energy. I feel that this is a getting to know phase as well. If this is returning, then definitely this could be somebody that um, coming back to you after a while and um, now you're seeing the new side in them. If they have worked on themselves, then this is somebody that you are now learning to get to know again. Mm -hmm. that this is very fiery, very exciting, very playful. You will enjoy it, I feel. Mm -hmm. Aries, let me know in the comment section below how this resonates. This is pretty exciting energy. Fun, hot love towards Aries. Maybe I would title it that way. The energy here, I mean the advice here, Aries, is that be open up to this new beginning, be open up to this new incoming love towards you. You may be adamant in, in doing so, but there is an energy here of, um, the advice here is to bring forth that energy of um, opening up to teamwork, opening up to working things out, working things together. Because that could lead you into something great, 
that could lead you into something that you don't even expect, which could be a bad thing or a good thing, right? But I see here that this person wants to work things out, wants to put effort into the connection. So there is intention there. And the intention lies around wanting to have stable foundation. Plus, exciting nights. What else can you ask for, Aries? <laughs> So this is incoming for you. Let me know how this resonates. You are incoming love for November of 2019. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. Okay? Tell me and leave me comments as well with regards to this reading. I am pretty excited for you. And also don't forget to check out my other um, videos. I have other stuff there that you may like as well. And if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by, Aries.